Today we're going to learn how to use foil to plug holes. Aluminum foil, say in, in buildings or, or in wherever you, you need a hole plugged around your house. I saw this technique used at a lab once and it was used to seal something between a really hot glass pipe and a metal um, and, a, and the metal part of the furnace. So I'm going to adapt this, this technique for common household use. So what I do is I have a piece of foil like this, right? And you wouldn't think that, that this can be used to plug holes, but it actually can. Because what you're doing here is now you just take it and, and imagine this is a hole in your house somewhere, I don't know, where you don't want bugs to come through or an insect or a mouse or, or a draft or something like that. And I just, and I just scrunch it up like this and I sort of wedge it in. So as you can see, what it's doing is it's just, it's almost perfectly sealing it, right? And then if I wanted to, look, at it, it just seals it. And I just keep on going like that. Here I'm, I'm using this technique to fill up a little crack. Imagine this is a crack in your house. And I just sort of go like that, just push it in. And just wedge it in if I have to with a, with a tool if necessary. And it basically sort of seals everything up. Right? Not, I don't think too much is going to get through there. If I wanted to, I could sand it off at the end. But this is, this is probably good enough. That's a good temporary fix. The aluminum foil has some properties which may be advantageous and it doesn't really age, right? And it also doesn't, it, uh, I don't have to, it's not a chemical reaction, so I don't have to wait for it to set like with caulking. I can just sort of shove it in there and then if there's a, something that's trying to get through there or, or I'm, I'm trying to temporarily um, fill up a crack, I can do it in, with, with this foil in a very short time. Right, and it's it, it works pretty well. I don't think any any bug would get through there, right? And I could if um, and I don't I don't think there would be very much of a draft getting through there either. And then I could I could take some metal paint if I didn't like the shininess, and I could just paint it, say black, maybe some spray paint or something, some sort of metal paint, and then you have basically a nice seal there. What I can also do is if I have a pipe, right, and I don't want something, crawl, an open pipe, and I don't want something crawling up it, or a, a, or a bad smell coming out of it, I can just make a little plug like that, right, very easily, and then it sort of, sort of plugs it and stops anything from coming out. And then I can remove it, I can stick it back in, right, very easy. Pretty easy to do that doesn't take long at all. The other option is, is if I want to seal around the pipe, I can just go like this. I can just, just, just take a whole bunch of the foil and I can sort of wrap it around the pipe like that. And then it, and then it, it sort of seals it, right? It, it sort of stops if there's, a, imagine this is this, imagine this is coming out of a hole in the wall, right? It's, it sort of stops the draft from coming through. And it's a very simple technique. It doesn't, it's very, very simple. Here's a real life application of where I use the foil. See, I, I have here a pipe, an eaves trough pipe going into the ground. And I didn't want stuff crawling from underneath and coming out. So I just put some foil in there, which took about five minutes. And I put a grate over top of it. And that will keep anything from coming out of the pipe. Like bugs or that sort of stuff.